Okay, so moving on to a loop daisy. Now for this you need a piece of card or a piece of plastic cut to the length that you want your petals to be. And just to make it slightly easier, I normally have three or four templates. So they're all the same height and that. So I'm threading my ribbon onto my needle. Again, thread it through and tuck the needle through the top of the thread of the ribbon, like that. And I'm knotting the end just to make sure that's secure. So. Stitching through. And then using one of my template pieces, I'm gonna lay that on top of the ribbon that and then stitch back right below the original the exit stitch there the original exit stitch just make sure that comes down and sits flat when it's finished not like that so I'll leave that template in place once I move on because there is a tendency here to catch hold of the ribbon as you sew back through so you can sometimes lose your petals so just lay the template on top hang on to that and then stitch through just make sure that's sitting flat now you can work your way around however you like I like to go kind of four corners So I can keep as many templates in as possible. Again, to reduce the risk of anyone being caught whilst I'm sewing, like that. Come on. Come on, baby. I don't want to deform my flower as I'm building it, essentially. So there, I've got three petals in. Now coming up for the fourth one, I want to then remove my first template. It does seem like a bit of a palaver, but this way you make sure that all your petals are pretty much the same size, so it looks natural and correct. And you are protecting them from accidentally being pulled through at any point. make sure they sit flat as you sew them. I'm getting to the stage where I can't see what I'm doing so I need to remove a template and stitch through. Come on. This is where ribbon stitching can be difficult where you've got such close stitches. You can end up trying to sew more ribbon through two or three layers of ribbon which is more likely to cause problems. So just be patient with it. Be aware of where you're going. And if you need to try and back out around the back if you get caught. more of these out so I can see where I've got space and I think I'm going to stop there actually. So that's giving me quite a full flower so you can keep going around keep adding petals as you like and kind of plump them up to whatever you want and just stick in a knot or some, something in the middle just to complete the flower. So that is a loop daisy.